All right, you sexy bunch. How are we all doing? Welcome back to another Andy Plays Golf video. We're at a very special location. This is Corey Golf Club on the Isle Arran. That is the scorecard. And Wilson's just out of shot. Come to say hi. Come to say hi. Wilson! Anyway, we nine holer. Absolutely beautiful. We're at the foot of Goat Fell. So we're going to play the first hole. It's not going to look like much. But trust me, when we turn the corner, <sighs> sexy. Nine holes. Let's go. So for anyone that doesn't know, Corey is on the Isle of Arran. You can down that wee road just down there. It's a wee quirky nine holer. Check what the par is in a wee minute. But the Tearum, which is that white building you just see through the trees there, that's where you come and pay. And you come in to this lovely, lovely golf course. So uh, yeah. Let's walk through the gate. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the first tee. There's a bunker you can see just down there. And that's the flags. There are a couple of par threes on this course. And a couple of par fours. Just wait until you get around the corner. There's uh, a wee cheeky surprise around here for you. So uh, let's tee up. Yeah, we're just walking up to the first green now and this is probably the first hint as to kind of what's to come it's uh, rather special just have a wee look at that if anything anyone that doesn't know goat fell is the largest mountain hill whatever you want to call it i don't know all that stuff on the laren it is absolutely gorgeous and that is it right there the house we're staying in is if you th could throw a stone right over the the mountain you would you would basically just go right over the top of it and land in our house so yeah lovely set of mountains I'll just get Wilson a hit shot at the bunker um, so obviously I was here last year and done a couple of videos I've done Shiskin and Brodick I think it was and this year we're going to do another couple more so for anyone we didn't get out for anyone who doesn't know I grew up in Ireland turn the camera around I uh, grew up in Ireland when I was younger, came over here summer holidays, done all that kind of stuff. This is where I learned to play golf. Oh, I've just missed a shot, <laughs> you see it. That's what he's put it to. How many did you get? There was that, four or five? Two? One and a half. One and a half, well done. I've, um, I grew up in Ireland, this is where I learned to play golf. I've actually got a wee surprise for one of the other golf courses we're going to play because it's a wee bit of nostalgia, but I'm just having a wee look down at my ball, which is here. Yeah. Not too good. No gonna lie mate, I have absolutely no idea how I'm gonna get this out. Sit. No, no. Oh, I thought I was going to bunker. If anyone can see, there's a tree basically right in line with the green, but you can kind of stick it round a wee bit just with the hill, which we'll show you in a wee minute. But I'm gonna go on nine iron, a wee bit windy. Same line as me, eh? What is it? As long as you catch that hill, or close to it, it's not bad. Let's go! So a wee bit about Corrie. Um, it is at the foot of Goat Fell. It is um, in between Corrie and Sanox, which is wee kind of villages on the Isle of Arran. It's a uh, £15 around, or what we've done is we just got a wee day pass for £20. I like how they've got the, the two 
I saw they do. Spray painted onto the tree. I never even saw that. Sure. We'll, show you that. we'll show you that in a wee minute. There's a number two spray painted to the actual tree that's right in front of the green. But it is, it's lovely, a very special course. And there's going to be a lot of you guys that can probably play parkland courses, links courses, whatever it is. This doesn't feel like a traditional course, it's got a more kind of pitch and putt feel about it, but with some kind of long drives, some really good drives. When we go up to the top of the hill and play back down, you're going to kind of realise where this all stems from, where this course kind of generates and why. Mate, there's someone else out in the course. Absolutely gutted, not gonna lie. Now let's have a wee look at this tree. So this is a big bad boy tree with a number two, just in case. But absolutely stunning. Oh, both of us are on the green. So that's us just walking on. That's a hill we're talking about. So our ball's landed basically up on that hill and they've kicked down. Who's this who? Is, it, is that me? Both of you on the green, but here. Well played. Okay, it'll be fine. Good hit. Still on the left. Just set, that made one. I think you should be okay. Yeah, for anyone that actually noticed, I did tea outside the tea box. But uh, yeah, we're all pals and we're on holiday, so who actually cares? Um, but for anyone that's actually wondering, that we're using the travel bags that we got. So Wilson's got, like, what you got? You've got the kind of like. E odd, uh, odd numbers. I have also got the odd numbers, I've got the even numbers in my clubs. Um, we're sharing driver, uh, we're sharing like a five hood, and we've got Wilson's Volky Wedges that he won in the competition. So, yeah, this is how we rock and roll. There is a bird of prey up here. I want you guys to get in the comments, I'll show you it. I want you guys to get in the comments and actually tell me what kind of bird it is because um, it's been here for a while and we think it might be injured, but let us know what it is. Okay, so here he is. I'll zoom in in a wee second, but he's an absolute beast. If anybody knows what that is, because as I said, I think he's injured. He's got a hold of something anyway. It's a mushroom. Magic mushroom. Don't tell me he's going to get out of his bin. No <laughs> wonder he can't fly. He's at his fucking box. Like he's not really moving. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, but I was inches away from him there. That's amazing. He, he looked right at me. Looked right at me and he's like, what an ugly bastard. If he knew I had a maggot in my pants, he would have been right up at me. So, if anybody knows what that is, get in the comments, we're probably too late. By the time I actually edit this, I'll be home and everything, but um, I just think he's absolutely gorgeous, absolutely stunning. It's pure hilly. We are, uh, we're going up that way and then we play back down again. Let me know if you've played Corey. Let me know if you've been to the Isle Arran. It's a real special place to me, so... I've got Wilson hit a shot and I'm just short of the green. It's like a postage stamp square green. I'll show you. There's the green. Wilson's pin high and I'm just here. So let's see if we can get a wee chip on. What a shot! 
<laughs> I mean, it was going off. It was 100% going off. I'll take that for a wee eagle, mate. The mountains have blessed me. So I'm hoping you can still hear me after that. Wilson actually got a birdie as well. He put his putt in for a birdie. So he's now one on oh, pet par. So Wilson's now par, I'm now one under. But I think that's the first eagle on my channel. I think so. I think it is. Got a great par three, you're basically right down the hill. With the uh, flags right down there. But it's 120 odd yards, it's realistically playing about 100, probably about 100 even less than that, so maybe even a kind of 95, so I think we're going to go 54 degree, wind's blowing a wee bit right to left, it's going to be good, I just hope you can't hear me because it is really quite windy up here. Oh, it seems so unlucky we catching that front bit, Look, just right there, that was really unlucky, I don't actually know where mine came down. Oh, look. You see that? That's where it came down. That's not bad. I'll take it though. So this is hole 5 here, it's playing about 120 yards, right up the top of that hill there, the flag's literally about there. Um, there's quite a bit of green to work with behind it, so you can go long, you just do not want to go short. So as I said in the past couple of videos, I'm definitely going to be getting out and doing a lot more videos. Yeah. I know I've kind of been a bit slack with it, but I just I just don't really know where the direction of the channel's been going and I've been getting a bit frustrated with it. So definitely going to be get, going to go back to actually making videos and doing them, but they will be a wee bit different. They'll be a wee bit more golf focused, a wee bit more kind of training focused, getting better at golf, doing that kind of thing. Because I think there's probably a wee a wee need for that, a lot more than the stupid challenges and review videos, which I don't have a clue what I'm talking about, so yeah, hope you enjoy these anyway. We're having a rare time in Ireland. We're going to get incredibly drunk tonight, that's 100% <laughs> Spring break! <laughs> that's 100% going to be happening, but um, yeah, let's, get, let's do this. I was just laughing, they were trying to take some funny pictures and videos, I'll put it in the, the actual, the, the video itself, they're quite good. Um, just 
playing at the foot of something like this. Not even that, like you're now, we're now kind of getting towards the highest point here um, on the golf course and just have a look behind me. It's, you feel very insignificant, you really do. And it's, uh, it's quite a powerful thing. I don't get very sappy on this channel, as you guys know. I don't, I don't have feelings. I don't have a heart, actually, when I come to think about it. But it's uh, such a beautiful place. If you can get a chance, please come and check it out. Twenty pound day ticket, fifteen pound around for nine holes. It's uh, pretty special. A wee par four coming up, and it's a very, very tricky green. So we're going to give it a bash. But anyway, hope you're enjoying it. Click the subscribe button. Do all that stuff. Do what you need to do. But. Please, if you like it, do something about it. Not bad chip. Oh, he's done okay. I just like to have a look at the green before I hit my shot. I'll actually probably put the camera up here because um, you're not going to see much. But <laughs> it's absolutely brutal. Like if you hit your drive, you hit your drive from down there, you need to bring it up like the tees. The next tee is like there's a ridge there, which I'll show you in a wee minute. You pretty much need to bring your tee up and let it come on this way. But it's quite a big and stop. You've got a fair chance, but risky business. Oh, come on. Go on, go on. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, no. Yeah, that's alright. I just thought that was going in, by the way. Did it run past the hole? Yeah, it just went right in. That was fucking fast. Imagine that went in. Good roll. Look, pretty close. So now, this is the shelf I was talking about, and that's the last green we were on. The green, I'm going to actually see if I can zoom in to you. Zoom in to you, zoom in and show you. There is the green all the way down there. Uh, it says 300 yards away, but with the elevation, there's no wind now. It's probably about kind of 260, 270, realistically. But we quite like this, so this is where you can lose some golf balls. And we're going to lose some golf balls. But actually yeah. not. Here by the way, I'm sitting two under. I'm kind of shitting my pants a bit. I'm not going to lie. Um, we just keep playing golf. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Strike. Hold on. I need to zoom in on that. Hold on. Can you see it? Just at the front. No way, man. Strike. I'll take that. It's okay. It sits. Are you lucky? No. No, you never. No, no, you never. No. Right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is crazy. What is going on? Right, there's Wilson's. Right there. If I can put my finger, basically, look at that sausage. It is. There's no point. Right, there's mine on the green. Wilson's just shy. Right, he hit that. See the path where the yellow box is? Hit the path, bounced down the path, the path, the path, trickled all the way down to the green. You are officially. The chamois boy in golf, you know that? Hey. That's shocking. Okay. You going for it again? I'm just going to hit another. Yeah, just do it again. We'll see if we can actually track this one. That proper camera, man. Let's see if I can do it. I mean, what a tee box. Oh, he's, he's well out. He's well out down there. 
Yeah. It is my driver to be fair though you're using. This is probably one of the craziest rounds I've ever played, I'm not gonna lie. You know. It's not often you can put your bags back on the tee because you don't need them because you're putting. But just take a wee zoom in. That one in the middle of the screen, that's mine. That was my first shot, there's one of Wilson's, that's a bad one that trickled down. <laughs> See if that went in. It's not a birdie though. We're in hole eight here. It's uh, a wee bit windy. We've got the river behind us, so hopefully you can still hear me. It's about 135 to the middle. But where you going, me? Actually, right. Wilson's going a nice pitch. Oh, you hit that so well. Short. No. no. Short. Is that short? Pass off the back. Just gonna take a wee moment when I'm in the shade. My eyes are so sticky, man. It's been a lovely, lovely day. This is um, looking at the weather forecast for this week. This is kind of the only day we can actually get out realistically to play golf. We're hoping to get Shiskin again. Obviously, I recorded that last time, but we are definitely hoping to get that and we want to get one lash. Um, that's the, the two, well the three courses including this, um, I adore this place, really really adore this place. Obviously I grew up playing golf on Shiskin, that was where I first picked up a golf club, was in Shiskin Golf Club. And what a course to do it, you know, it's absolutely stunning. Um, I'm going to go back there, the guys were really happy about the, the video we done last year, so I'm going to go back and do that and have a bit of a giggle. It's alright man, that's a good shot. So Wilson's just left side of the green here. He's got a wee 58 degree up. Let's see if we can get it close. That could work. It's coming round. It's coming round lovely. That's a great shot, mate. Well in. Thanks, mate. What a way to finish. Um, means is on. I've, uh, that's me just to the left. I've got a wee uh, eagle opportunity, but thanks very much for your play today, Corey. It's um, been an absolute delight. You like it the way? Ah, it's a fun wee course. Aye. It, is, it is quirky. We were just talking about that uh, just a couple of wee seconds ago. Like, realistically, you don't need an awful lot in your bag to play this course. You know, what is it like six iron, nine iron, a wedge, and a par is probably what you could ground in. Um, the par fours, as you've seen, well, they're drivable, you know, they are drivable, but you still need to get in play, you know, you still need to put a shot in play, so I have a eagle chance, sitting at two under I cannot play him, to, I'm not even thinking about it now, I'm not going to lie, but yeah So 
always get some then. You see me father? Get up, man. Oft. Three under, man. Three under. Three under. This is the first time I've ever shot under par on a golf course. It should have been four if it wasn't that drop shot, which is rather annoying. But um, yeah, Whew, three under. Aye, par threes are usually the ones where we don't shoot very well because it's all about how well your iron plays are, and there's like four or five of them on the course, you know, in the nine holes. So um, yeah, really happy with that. Really happy. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Behave yourselves. Oh, and by the way, that is what we call legit. That is a legit round because we'll have rounds where we just kick balls out the rough and stuff like that. But that was played under the kind of tournament kind of stuff. But what did you finish up on? I, I think you should be checking. So first, you've kept that quiet. Hey, so Wilson's just said he's either par or one under. So you were a par in the last? 20, 24, 27, 31, I'm finishing par. So you were par? par. And I was? Three under. Mate, decent Seven golf. Nine, Put the air chicken. Thanks very much. So you have it. The Wilsonator was level par. That's your best round, isn't it? Mm -hmm. right. I've never broke par. Wilson's never broke stat. You've still not. No, I'm kidding, no, I'm, sorry, I'm joking. No, but uh, yeah, you're gonna go. Go and get dinner. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Uh, take it easy, behave yourselves. We'll see you in action. Say bye, Wilson. Bye. <laughs> see you later.